Hi, Greg James here from Greg James Fishing World and today I'm going to show you a trick that I learned when I was a, almost a little baby. This is a homemade snook lure and in front of me I've actually got a snook, a whole snook. Um, not a big one, but one that just allows me to show you how to make a homemade... I love making my own gear, I spend hours at it. Not too much money. But this is a, a fairly fresh snook and I'm actually going to show you how to make a snook lure out of the flotation bladder, would you believe, that's actually in this here snook. So, what you do, you've got your snook, and this will always work when all the other fancy lures haven't or don't. You gut the snook by running a sharp knife down through the underbelly. Open up the snook, and as you can see, snook are a fairly clean fish. Uh, surprisingly, there's not a lot of gunk in there. And you're actually looking at the flotation bladder now. Most people just take it out and chuck it away. Well, from now on, don't. Catch your snook, put your fingers inside to his tummy, and pull out this little piece here. And that's the snook flotation bladder. There's a little bit of offal and stuff. And as they like to say in Paris, voila, we have a snook flotation bladder. You can still see a bit of air left in that little flotation bladder. And if you look at it and clean it up a little bit and pull the bits off it, like I'm doing, a little bit messy, but fishing is. I'm always dealing with bait. So you take off the gun, take off the little bit of offal, and it actually looks like a lure. And it's not homemade, it's snook made. And basically, that will freeze and keep forever. It's enormously tough, it's as tough as leather. And the professional fishermen in years gone by always, always use this technique. I've got here in my right hand a long uh, three ganged hook set up. You can do your own, you can gang your own. I'm not, I've just picked this up from the fishing tackle shop. Three fairly dangerous looking um, hooks that are ganged together, you can use two hooks together, one would work but you really do need two, a minimum of two, and then it's a matter of attaching the snook flotation bladder, my hands are a bit messy, well I know the hooks are working because I've got one on my finger, ouch, a little bit rough but that doesn't matter, you can hear the snook bladder popping as I place these hooks in it, ow, In goes number three and there you have it how simple is that you can place the hooks in the middle the reason I've got them like it is you can trim this up a little bit is because that's where the bulk of the flotation bladder is the snook will attack this time and time after again and it will survive those attacks it freezes put it in a plastic bag and freeze it will freeze for months in your freezer but if it goes dry this uh, white um, substance goes enormously tough and it's quite dangerous it's very sharp and these things here uh, crack away to almost a sandpaper sharpness if you know what I mean very brittle very sharp cut yourself quite easily so it can get dangerous once it's dried it won't fade away it's uh, enormously durable if this is a little bit um, a little bit uh, too big for your hook setup you can just trim it off you can see how tough it is and you can just trim it up. I wouldn't cut any of that off. I'll just uh, get the other bit of line out of there. And then basically you've got a beautiful homemade snook lure and it would work for salmon, it would work for other fish. Flathead would take this as well off the beach using the flotation bladder out of a snook. And as an aside, the snook was one of the first fish caught in Australia by the European settlers. And so now, basically a simple lure to have fun with and something that's always a great backup. Tight lines. Mm -hmm.